In this video, let us study about initial and final value theorem which are related with Laplace transform. The initial and final value theorems as, as shown here. Initial value theorem states that limit of t tends to 0 f of t is equal to limit of s into f of s where s tends to infinity. And final value theorem is very similar. Only thing is that the limits are changed. So there it will be t tends to infinity and on the RHS we have s tends to 0. So in order to remember this very easily for initial value theorem on the left hand side you write t tends to 0. So 0 is initial and for final value theorem we have t tends to infinity and on the RHS it will be opposite. For initial it will be infinity and for final value theorem it will be 0. Next let us do a problem based on this. So you have been asked to verify the initial value theorem for the function which is given in t domain that is 2 minus e raised to 5t. So write the expression for initial value theorem that is limit of t tends to 0 f of t is equal to limit of s tends to infinity s into f of s. So first let us find out what is the LHS. So LHS is limit of t tends to 0 f of t which is equal to f of t is 2 minus e raised to 5t that is a question and substitute t is equal to 0. So e raised to 0 is nothing but 1. So 2 minus 1 we will get the answer as 1. Now let us try to prove the RHS. So RHS is limit of s tends to infinity s into f of s. So first of all let us find out what is f of s. So 2 is in t domain so in s domain it would be 2 by s and e raised to 5t will be nothing but 1 by s minus 5. So this term can be simplified as s minus 10 by s into s minus 5. So we have to multiply this by s. So both the s in the numerator and the denominator gets cancelled and we finally have s minus 10 by s minus 5. Now both the numerator and the denominator divide by the highest power of s. So in the numerator you have s. So s by s is 1 minus 10 by s whole divided by s by s which is again 1 minus 5 by s. Now you apply the limits because you cannot get infinity as the answer. In order to remove that infinity we are doing like this and any quantity by infinity is nothing but 0. So that we can apply over here. So here 1 minus 10 by s so 10 divided by infinity is nothing but 0 whole divided by 1 minus 5 by infinity again that term becomes 0. So this is going to be equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to 1. So we got the LHS also as equal to 1 and RHS equal to 1. So the theorem is verified. Then the next type of question which can be asked is you will be asked to find the initial value of 2 e raised to minus 3 t cos t or some function of t. So first thing you have to do this using the RHS of initial value theorem and not using the LHS just by substituting t because it has been clearly specified that you have to do this using initial value theorem. So Laplace transform of cos t is nothing but s by s squared plus a squared. So here a is 1 so it will be s by s squared plus 1 squared. Now if you multiply that with e raised to minus 3t so it is shifting property so you get 2 into wherever you have s you can substitute that with s plus a so here it is 3 so it is going to be s plus 3 by s plus 3 the whole square plus 1 square. Next according to initial value theorem you will have to multiply f of s by s so the whole term is again multiplied by s then we have to divide both the numerator and denominator by the highest power of s in order to apply the limit 
because we cannot apply infinity by infinity such quantities are not defined so we have to divide both the numerator and denominator by the highest power of s so here it is s squared so 2 s squared will become now 2 plus 6 by s divided by again s squared in the denominator so 1 plus 6 by s plus 10 by s squared now you apply the limit 2 plus 0 whole divided by 1 plus 0 plus 0 which is equal to 2 so here you don't have to verify you just have to find the initial value next question you have to find the final value of f of t is equal to 8 into 2 minus e raised to minus 40 which can be done using final value theorem so the function given here is f of t is equal to 8 into 2 minus e raised to minus 40 and the final value theorem is as shown here so first thing we have to find the RHS that is f of s is nothing but 8 into 2 is 2 by s and e raised to minus 40 the Laplace transform is 1 by s plus 4 so multiply that with s because the RHS contains s into f of s so you will get 8 into s into 2 by s so s s gets cancelled minus s by s plus 4 now apply s is equal to 0 so we will get 0 divided by 4 which is nothing but 0 so the answer would be 16 If you are asked to verify the final value theorem, then you have to find out both the LHS as well as RHS. In this previous problem, it was just to find the value. But here you have to verify the theorem. So first of all, here we have to find what is the LHS of the given function, which is 4 plus e raised to minus t into sin t. So we will substitute t is equal to infinity. So in order to do that, 4 plus e raised to minus t into sin t so e raised to minus infinity is nothing but 1 by e raised to infinity so that is 1 by infinity is 0 so here it is 0 into some value so this whole value gets cancelled so it is nothing but 4 and on the RHS side it is limit of s tends to 0 s into f of s so first we have to find out what is f of s from the given f of t so that is 4 by s plus 1 by s squared plus 1 squared so this term is without considering e raised to minus t so when you consider e raised to minus t the Laplace transform would become shifting so that is s would become s plus 1 so wherever you have s you will substitute it as s plus 1 the whole square so this is how you will get this and then multiply this with s so you'll get s into 4 by s plus s by s plus 1 the whole square plus 1 so this term on the right hand side substitute s is equal to 0 so this entire term gets vanished so you'll get only 4 so both LHS and RHS you'll get it as 4 and the final value theorem is verified